Hey everybody, it's the last Robokai here, and uh, I'm joined as always by Cool Guy, and we've got something special uh, today. We're going to be, uh, I suppose the term is casting a replay of uh, a free-for-all game that uh, Tolon hosted with a few different other people just recently. And uh, we're going to be watching how that game went. Alright, so as you can see, the this ty Typhon map is uh, an absolute hellhole, and free-for-all, as always, is all about getting the control points, which we have just, you know, all over this silly little map. Hooray, some guardsmen! This makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, we've got, uh, we've got almost one of every single race. Uh, I guess someone said if they saw Space Marines, they were going to rage quit, because we've got two Eldar instead. <laughs> Hopefully both of them get their asses kicked. Fuck yeah. the Eldar. Well, they're... They're right next to each other, so hopefully they kill each other. Sorry, Tolon and Atomicus, but uh, mutually assured destruction is the uh, is the fan favorite of the day. We've got a uh, we've got Brain Amp here. He's uh, he's pushing straight on and captured himself one of the uh, one of the major control points to get the the timer ticking. The, the starting advantage, I guess, you know, uh, versus resources. I don't know if that was the the smoothest idea, but we'll find out. But we've already got the we've already got the Elder. Look at this, mutually assured destruction up top. Tolon versus Atomicus, they're having a little bit of wow, a scuffle. Wow, that's, that's like almost a dead, a dead, a dead match. Yeah, unfortunately, Tolon was retreating and got shut up a lot, and he just wasted a Guardsman squad. Also down below, uh, I'm Frustrated has encountered the Orcs. Uh, we've got some, <laughs> some Homigants and uh, some Orc Slugger Boys getting stuck in. And this looks oh, like Warboss it's... Warboss is kicking some ass. Yeah, Warboss, excellent melee hero. It looks like we may be, yeah... Yeah, like he's getting out of there, though. He's getting out of there, and unfortunately for, uh, yeah, unfortunately for the Orcs, for uh, Iratep, he's just lost a squad himself, so... That's always a little hard to come back from from the beginning, because the other teams can make pretty good gains, and I'm frustrated is pretty good. You can see the, uh, the Farsi survived, isn't that always a, a sad thing to see? <laughs> I always like, are messing it up with the with the chaos. Excellent. It looks like we've uh, everyone started to pair off. I do like the uh, I do like the color scheme we've got going for a billion guardsmen as well. That is a, an excellent name too. <laughs> Particularly for the race he's playing. Yep. And he's got a commissar lord. So uh, you know, commissar lord is a very fun imperial guard hero. I quite like him. He can. Do I've some been very practicing interesting quite buffs. a bit in the off, in the off time in between our episodes, and the Commissar Lord has ended up being my favorite uh, my favorite commander for the guard. Mm. Poor Tolon, uh, looking a little parked into his own base here, and I'm frustrated as uh, <laughs> he's jumping all over Tomicus now too. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of getting nutsacked there. Yeah. And uh, while Ooh, this is going damn. on, Torlon tries here. to sneak in to take it, but that's that's not going to go down well. And uh, are we going to see a second Farsia go down? Nope, nope. Gets into base quite. defenses. Yep. I'm frustrated wisely taking his leave of that one. Yeah. Oh dear. Look at look at all them laser shots going down. We've got we've got a bit of nurgling going on here. It's a bit of worshipping. Gets everyone's health regen going up. Keeps everyone from getting killed. Yeah, the... Uh... The Commissar Lord has wisely decided to back the hell off. Mm. And now the Orcs are uh, heading towards the Chaos, uh, Chaos territory now, so it's not going to be too easy on Brain Amp just yet. There's a sizable force here. Ah, and uh, Billion Guardsman's pulled himself up. I think it's a heavy weapons team? Yep. So, uh, well, he's probably going to park that near his object. Yep, yep, he's getting it into place. So if Chaos try to actually move outside of their base, they're going to get... Uh, yeah, this is where the pieces. guard. This is where the guard are the most are the most strong. Is right when they've got a chance to solidify their position a little bit. You see the multi laser turret give, uh, giving some uh, giving some extra fire support to that heavy weapon squad. That's going to be really hard to dislodge. Yeah, and uh, not a huge amount of cover. Just like you know, there is cover, but between that cover, uh, which is probably at the maximum range of the Imperial Guard and the uh, and the objective itself. Bit of a killing field, and as you can see from the cultists, they don't get out very far before they start wilting. I feel no, so bad that for plague Tolan. champion is trying to make a run for it, but he is getting hurt. Yep, yeah, he's got to back off. He's got to back off too. That's that's the only good thing about retreat in this sort of circumstance, in that you're not going to lose too many of you guys because the buff you get from retreat is uh, is against range damage, whereas melee damage does extra. And now, and now the guardsmen are are 
tangling with Atomicus, which is good because Atomicus has a very impressive uh, impressive lead as far as the victory points go. Mm, yeah, he's pulled up the middle point and everything, which is uh, the only point that actually can't be disabled. And the, uh, the Banshee's getting chased out. That's going to cost him a little bit of time and resources to get that squad back in. He's, uh, he's pulled his Farseer back up to a feet and poor Toll on here in his little base. I kind of feel like I'm frustrated as let him, let him keep at least two of the resource points. Well, it's not really worth his trouble to, uh, to get that far in. Mm. Yep, he's taking, he is taking, uh, the, he's taking the control point that it's, that's between Atomicus and Tolon, though. That's the victory point. Anytime he can hold on to that is good time. Yep. And actually, now, uh, now he's, he's pulling ahead in all of the victory points, too, because mm. everybody saw how, uh, how Atomicus was pulling ahead. <laughs> now he's got nothing. <laughs> It doesn't uh, matter. Yeah. He's making some. He's making some serious gains against the guard. Yeah. And it looks like the guard are just gonna take it for right now. Hmm. Well, yeah. he's got some catechins, but it seems like he's he's convinced Chaos forces are gonna try and push up his nostrils any second now. I'm not particularly sure what Brain Amp's planning on here. He's uh, he's got to he's got to get his dudes back together, I guess. What loadouts he packing for this? I don't know, it seems to me like, uh, like it would be a much better use of his time to, uh, to screw off and try to attack the orcs. Mm. Yeah, in terms of war gear, Ertep, you know, his, his forces are still pretty small. He hasn't popped anything on his war boss yet. He's only got two squads of shooter boys. He's, he's you know, I thought he was going to start strong. He was going to out-melee everything, but he, he hasn't. Oh, here come the guard. <laughs> Guys, gank the nid. <laughs> what a great tip, Ertep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they all didn't immediately start, like, dogpiling towards it. <laughs> Poor Tolon. Oh, the guard are getting in on it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now, this is interesting spot that the, uh, that the, the term, the Homogans are going to get themselves stuck into because, well, they can get in close, but the minute they do, that Sentinel can stomp, and he will flatten them. And, yeah, look at those flamethrowers go. They're, Come oh. Boom! That Plus is no... explosive shot from the Catachans. Yup. Yep, we are we are seeing <laughs> some we are seeing some tyrannid murder going on here. This is beautiful. Not too many clashes otherwise going around. Tolon's using this chance to to consolidate himself now, and he's taking some control points away. So he, we'll actually be seeing him get up on the board now. He's the only one who didn't have any points. Support structure complete. And the Imperial Guard, are, they're going to start climbing up in points now too, which is Adding nice. Warp generator. Oh, the guard are really losing a lot of ground to the Eldar. Yeah, well, that that's that's probably one of the problems. You, you extend yourself out too far in the middle, what you're gonna get. But Howling Banshees decide to try and attack the Sentinel. It's ended about as well as you can imagine with that stomp. Yeah, but that's... down it goes anyway because there was enough Howling Banshees and they do enough damage to its armor to be able to negate that. Oh, and yeah, everyone just just drops. The Commissar Lord yeah. is out. A billion guardsmen that's in just, trouble. That is just a lot of Eldar. Holy buckets. Yeah, a lot of Howling Banshees. They are they are danger oh, times. Oh man! And the Catachans went down. Yeah, oh. He's gonna t that's gonna be tough to recover from. Oh Please. yeah, that's gonna hurt a lot. Oop, there goes the, the heavy weapons squad too. Wow, yeah. that was that was most of a billion guardsmen's forces. Yep, and the cha Chaos moving up nap they're packing they're packing the markers inch on the Chaos guys, which means that well, heavy armor is pretty much useless against them. They just annihilate armor. Oh, and here come the Eldar, and... Well, just look at that shooting. Look what that shooting did to that first squad. Just not not good. But they seem to have successfully chased... I wouldn't have I wouldn't have retreated that that second batch of guys. But it doesn't matter, because they don't have far to retreat, and now they got a blood crusher. Huh. And now, and now, um... Now I'm frustrated has gotten pissed off at Torlin. <laughs> you you trying to steal my stuff? Well, unfortunately for him, uh, when the when the Tyranids are away, the orcs will loot. And the Eldar the Eldar have wisely chosen to uh, to leave that battle that they were involved in, and uh, and so the Blood Crusher doesn't get any murder on. I did notice the Plague Marine went down at some point though. Some spore mines are screwing around though. Ah, oh, spore mines. Gotta love them. Yep. Well, up. here comes I'm frustrated to, uh, to go uh, to have a word with the orcs. Yeah, I think if he's going out for Lictor, oh, he's he's probably gonna want to lead in with flesh hooking the war boss and dog piling him. Perhaps, maybe, no. Might not actually be the wisest idea because the the because if you put him in the middle of the melee, you probably 
putting him into the places he's happiest. But uh, now now it's a big tug pile. We'll see how that. <laughs> yep. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. Pounding ground. Yeah. So so in a way, I guess I guess that was probably why he wouldn't have wanted to open with that. I'm surprised he didn't he didn't get everybody else sort of backing him up on that one. Oh, and retreat does nothing to spoil mines. Now the guard, uh, the guard and the Eldar are about to butt heads again. <laughs> Let's see if it goes better this time. Well, we've got. Well, he's falling back to Eldar a better firing position. Apart. Oh man. No, he's got to. He's got to retreat. He's got to. Ah, we've got the the commissar lords popped his uh, his energy shield, but it didn't last long, and he, no, the, there he's. He's probably going to lose him again. Unless those guardsmen get in the way. You can be hopeful that the pathing interferes, and it looks like it might just get him. Yup, yup. Those, oh yeah, those banshees better pull back nice and quick. Yeah, he's he's very smart to have to have hit X there very quickly. Yeah, Brainamp just decided that if he can't have any points, uh, he's going to he's going to get the ones the furthest away, which is pr which is a pretty good plan. I mean, you can play ring around the rosy as much as you want, you know, and while you move off to somewhere someone else captures your stuff but go out destroy everybody else's stuff keep your good your stuff close to home up and running that's a that's a good safe sane way to do it it's doubly it's doubly smart when you consider that the guard are currently in the lead yeah just barely peeking in front of the tyranids at the moment oh and we've got a uh, we've got <laughs> a tyrant guard here having a bit of a fight with uh, having a bit of a fight with the killer can now, if I remember my Tyranids correctly, it's probably not going to help the killer can too much because you get that you get that big guy down, he'll just curl up into a ball and it takes a lot of damage to do anything. Yeah, look at this. Brain amp played yeah, he, he just picked up a weird boy though, he's changing tack. Oh dear, things are gonna get crazy. Yeah. Yeah, some more generators are going down. And uh, yeah, the uh, the Tyrant Guard probably gonna have a much harder time of this because uh, Mark of yeah. Zinch High regen bonuses for the uh, with the Nurgle prayers going there, and even even fa falling into a bolt doesn't do shit. <laughs> you're uh, you're not going to be able to stop that amount of damage. But orcs are getting stuck in now. Kinda, yeah. Blood Crusher has absolutely nothing to fear from any of these guys, but never a good idea to be unsupported out by yourself. Get back yeah, to where is, it's safer. That is one. Of, that is one of the biggest biggest things you run into when you start seeing uh, seeing the heavy vehicles like the blood crushers or some of the stuff that the I hope to see the guard feel <laughs> before too much longer it's just that all of your small arms and your tier one is totally useless yeah I'm frustrated is uh I'm frustrated is pulling out some gene stealers now too they're a nice little close range ambushing unit but yeah and Tolan's Tolan's following brain amps lead here he's gonna start trying to destroy a few things but I don't like his odds because, well, Lichter. The Lichter yeah, has some that, really fun abilities. As always, that is just a lot of Tyranids. Yeah, the I like the Lichter Alpha because he has all these abilities. Like, his very basic uh, consumption ability, which is the stuff you get from, uh, you know, eating, like, the enemy troops and your own troops dying and stuff, basically the kill resource. Uh, he can identify the locations of every single commander on the map and get a little bit of, uh, of a view around them. And so that that makes it a whole lot easier to stalk and to prep for an assault. I've had lots of fun with the Lictor Commander in Build of War 2. Wow, and the Guard are actually making some progress against the Eldar. Yeah, what are they packing? Well, they got plasma guns now, so flashlights and it's balls of fire. Time. Yeah, I'm frustrated at Tier 3. He's the only one who's there so far. Going to be seeing uh, Falcon Gravtank coming out for Tolon. That is one advantage of being turtled in for a little bit. You can come back in Dawn of War too. Like you can come back. <laughs> ah. Case in point, the orcs—they pulled out yeah. some tank busters and just knocked off half of that blood crusher's health. Mm. And meanwhile, uh, they've just lost a killer can to uh, gigantic waves of Tyranid warriors and uh, and and some more gaunts and some more gene stealers. But good God, they've still come out on top on that one. There's. Yeah, there's not much, and the Alpha Lictor's not going to be able to do too much. He's currently still wounded. We are ready for war. Boss finally actually got some war gear. Get him some health and regeneration with the spiky armor. Tolon's still wielding the same Doombringer he's had since the start. The Commissar Lord got nothing on him. Lictor Alpha. Yeah, Lictor Alpha's got uh, a good set of gear for him. It's like he's got a... He can spit out a cloud that reinforces on the go. He's got an advanced leaper power, and he can... Uh, 
he can reduce target speed and damage, which makes running away from him very difficult. Oh, it's on now. The guard just pulled out a chimera. Oh yeah, this is where this is where the guard really get going. Mo mobile reinforcement point with good firepower, and you can sit inside of it, and all your guys just fire out. It's so and handy. And it, it has it has the same heavy um, heavy vehicle armor the way the blood crusher does. So a lot of those a lot of those Eldar weapons, like all of those guardians, just not going to do anything. They do have a bright lance though. He's going to have to watch out for that. Yep. And Tolan's got his Falcon Graf tank out, similar sort of affair. Uh, I'm just looking at the others as well. Like, none of them have really gone for enhancing the war gear on their uh, on their leaders. Although, uh, although Atomicus is going for a singing spear and some some armor as well. Health and regen seems to be the order of the day. Oh, and uh, Tolan's run into the. He's got. Ra oh, he's got Wraith Guard. The Lictor Alpha has just absolutely been annihilated. The Wraith Guard just. Oh, look at, look at that damage they do! So, Holy crap! Of course, the Falcon Grav Tank just bit it in a big way. I'm not sure why Tolon did not retreat that. That did not end well. But, oh man. That is still... That funny as all hell. That is still a heck of a lot of damage there. And to, you know, a <laughs> couple, of, couple of rangers just parking out on the Lake Dralfa's corpse. Oh there. my god, it's a three-way clusterfuck over by the guard. Oh yeah, the and... <laughs> and the car have wisely abandoned. Yeah, their chimera went down in two seconds flat. Ah, I'm sad I missed it. Yeah, so we've got we've got the answer now to uh, to the to, to the damage issue that the Eldar might have had with it. Wraith Lord and Wraith Guard. Good God! Yeah, that was that was that was just out of nowhere. Boy, I'm wondering why people aren't ganging up on Chaos now, though. Chaos is have, is pulling up a very respectable lead. Yeah, well, with uh, with most of the generators damaged, although uh, I think yeah, only one's only one is not complete. not still up. I'm gonna wonder if anyone's gonna bother trying to repair it. I'm frustrated it's moving out towards it, but he might find it's completely useless to him until they can get a repair up. And that problem that'll probably require a requisition that he doesn't have anymore. Mmm. Chewed, sir. See what, see what everyone's going at. The Eldar are making a push. They want to, uh... They want to reduce Brain Amp's holdings, which is a wise choice. Because right now, Brain Amp's got pretty much his maximum population. He can... He can save up his pennies, maybe advance in a tier, get a, get a great and clean one if he wants to be completely wasteful with his points and have a giant, you know, blob of... of gunk just wandering around being a jerk to everybody. Orcs moving in, too. Orcs are taking one of the points, so... We're we're almost we're almost to the uh, to the thousand point, but it's gonna take him a little while longer now. The uh, Tolon and uh, I'm frustrated had exactly the same idea, but the like, draft goes down again because Wraith God. Beautiful bit of killing. Poor war boss. <laughs> well, boss down too. Yeah, the uh, well, you gotta buy some stuff for your commanders, people. Come on. That's the thing. Oh, well, he's dead, so I can't actually see what he's wearing anymore. So he's, he's dead and he's naked. Oh man. That Wraith Lord just tanking like a champion there. Good god. One strike, three dead guardsmen. And there'll be more to come. Very wise very wise to pull out there. Even, even a billion guardsmen can't manage against that. And uh, Tolon put up a, a webway gate to allow him to go in and get in quick, but unfortunately the it's been spotted and completely and utterly annihilated very promptly. Mm -hmm. So Warbus has got a trophy rack now too. Needs a bit more killing power on him though. Ah, a billion guardsmen has finally fi uh, figured out something uh, something big. He's pulling up some ogrins. Yep. If your enemy are pulling up some some melee, you're going to have to escalate, and that's the smartest way to do it. Between the between those and his anti-armor kitted uh, stormtroopers, I think he's uh, he's going to have a really good a really good chance to make a push here. Yeah, except he's attracted the attention of the uh, of the chaos forces, and they've mm. severely damaged them. That's yep. Really there go uh, there go the there go the stormtroopers. He dragged moved out way too quickly. Yeah, dragged him into a big three-way fight. Eldar retreat. Has Eldar backed off? The blood crushers have just gone running off, and that was. I, I wonder if Brain Epp even knows that his blood crusher is The orcs are being quite a bit ogres. more effective though, holy buckets! Yeah, and that blood crusher, I'm guessing Brain Amp forgot it was there or was getting rid of it so he could buy something else because he just let it go. 
Yep, we got a wog roll coming on now. Yeah, that's a right proper wog. Mm-hmm. But now I'm frustrated as the one with the points building up. Oh, he could be quite dangerous. Looks like he's uh he's gonna try and oh no, he's not. I'm wondering what his plan was there. Mm. Either way, brain amp, so close to victory, but <laughs> I don't think any other sides can decide whether or not they want to destroy that generator that's near his base or not. I would personally. He's close enough to victory that cutting that off would be a great idea. But then again, I suppose, you know, a billion guardsmen might not want to lose it. I don't know. Ah, the Ogrens. Ogrens retreating? No one's dead, but yeah, probably wisest to get out of there. We're about to see the war boss go down again. Good night, sweet prince. Down he goes. <laughs> that generator is getting blown up. I don't know whether intentionally or not, but there sure is a lot of damage happening to it. Oh, and here come the chaos again. Mm -hmm. That's not ending well for the guard. Yep, chaos resurgent. They're going to recap that point, and their climb is going to begin again, and that is not good for anyone. Well, except for Brainout. <laughs> yep, I'm frustrated trying to consolidate his holdings. There's only so much he can take. There's two points down now. So he's going to have to get some Gaunts in to repair that. But I don't think he has repairing Gaunts. I don't know if Holmagunts can do it. I think you'd have to have the Termas. And the Avatar came out for Tolon. Oh, that's that's a thing right that's, there. That's that's. And Tolon's got a pretty respectable set of points. If he can remember, realize that he needs to go back and cap that point, does he actually? He doesn't actually have any troops. Avatar that can do it? versus Swarmlord, the fight oh. of the century. Oh, unfortunately, the Swarmlord brought friends. <laughs> and the Avatar really did it. Yeah. By that same token, I think the Avatar is still a lot more killy than the Swarmlord. It certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Although the Swarmlord seemed to be focusing his attention on the Farseer, which has now been completely and utterly, like, cleaned off the map. Are those Wraithguard? Uh, no? Okay. It looks like Atomicus. Not... He's actually got some troops who could go over and, and take that point and stop. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated... Yeah, he's uh, he's pulling back now from the Avatar. I would have too. He was about to get pincered between the or uh, between an orc law and a very angry Avatar. And he's dropping down some spore mines just to make sure uh, the Avatar can't pursue them without getting really damaged here. <laughs> Tol <laughs> Tolon, don't make your Avatar try to fight the spore mines in close combat. That's just that's that's, 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 that's just a, silly. That is that is a bad idea, and it never ends well. Ah, uh, here we go. The Chaos have once again taken their three points, and I think they are just seconds from victory. Oh yeah, well played, Brainamp. He uh, he played a very smart game on this one, and as you can see, it's just worked out amazingly well for him. He's, that, uh, that is that was a wonderful object lesson in not take in not getting too greedy with your expansion. Yep. The you the one of the bit one of the big problems that uh, that ended up with. I'm frustrated there is that he expanded so aggressively that everybody recognized him as the first threat and then when they got when they got big into him nobody remembered uh, remembered brain amp. Yeah, and and by the time they realized that like they needed to stop him, he was already he already had a sizable lead so it wasn't going to take much for him to sort of push forward and keep it. Mm -hmm. Uh hard to say what the others could have done. Tolan was really unfortunate uh Probably could have been using his retreat button a lot more, I think. He lost he lost a Guardian squad to start off, uh, and those little losses at the beginning can hurt. But I think I think overall, just I'm frustrated is really good. I've had the misfortune of trying to face him down uh, with my complete boobery and incompetency, and uh, I couldn't manage it. So. <laughs> I will say that the other thing that the guard uh, that the guard could have done, as somebody who uh, who's been practicing a lot with the guard. Was they uh, they did not use their they used their Katachan devils enough. There was one squad out, and th those those units are basically the workhorse of the guard, not the mm. guardsmen. And particularly when uh, when you're up against uh, when you're up against Eldar and Chaos, particularly Chaos, because Chaos just sucks to fight his guard. Mm. Throw out the bombs. It's probably the best way to put it. Well, they ha they are good against almost e against almost everything. With their explosive shot, they can knock away pe uh, people who are coming in close. With all reliable, they can get the edge on people who are trying to stay far away. And with the sarge, they have, uh, they have a little bit of an of anti vehicle. They're just good all around. 
yeah, so, you know, keep that in mind for the future, people. You'll, you'll be wanting to take yourself some catechins. And, and, who, and who doesn't like a bunch of guys that, like, are all doing their worst Rambo impression? <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, since we didn't actually give our formal goodbyes, I, I feel it probably would have been smarter if I showed you guys the ending screen. So here it is. I've been the last RoboKai. And I've been Cool Guy. And I uh, hope you'll uh, be happy to watch the next video as well.